All right, folks, another edition of Against the Ropes. I'm your host, Rich Quinones. We are in Philadelphia, Johan's gym, and we have a young gun, another one of those young gun Philly fighters right in front of us, an amateur. Introduce yourself to the boxing world. My name is Jose Borges. I'm 18 years old. I box here at Johan's Boxing Gym with Danny Davis and also my dad. What weight class are you? I'm 114 pounds, open class. And how many fights have you had as an Ami? I had 28 fights. I've been boxing for six years. Now your dad told me that you took about a year off or so, came back, you've been back in the gym the last couple of weeks. How does it feel to lace him back up? It, it feels amazing. I felt like this was my calling. Especially I felt like the guy had purpose for me to box. So I know that with boxing, I can become something in the future. Not only I say that, but many people told me that. What kind of fighter would you describe yourself as? Are you a body puncher? Are you aggressive? Do you like to fill out your opponent? Amis, it's a lot different because you don't have a lot of rounds to work with. Right. I feel as I'm an all-around fighter. I can fight on the inside and I can fight on the outside. There's different tactics and skills that I'm working on now that is different that I haven't been using, but I'm applying them to my skills and my techniques. What would you say right now is your best attribute as a young fighter? Um, <laughs> I don't know what the word means. No, 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 no. Right. What, what's your best strength? My best strength right now, um, I, I can see my best strength is my willpower because in the ring, like, I have the extra desire and heart to go the extra rounds. A lot of people will say it will be their power, like their punches and all that. I do hit hard as well, but I'll say it's my willpower to go the extra rounds and to, to want to win the fight. Yeah, and the mucho corazón, so you got that as well. That keeps you going. Exactly, there you go. What is it like in your in, in your mind to be a, a Philly fighter? What does that mean? I, it feels amazing just knowing that you come from Philly and everyone knows Philly streets is not easy. And being born in Philadelphia, especially in the North Philly part, is hard. But knowing that fighters like Danny Garcia and other fighters like Bernard Hopkins made out of Philly, I know I can make it out of Philly as well. And how many more fights would you like to have as an army before you turn pro? Uh, I definitely would like to have about 50 to 60 fights before I go pro after the Olympics. I, I do believe that I can make my way to the Olympics before pro. And when, when do you expect to see you get an amateur fight? What's the plan here? Definitely at the end of this year you'll be able to see me in the and then next year I'll be in the tournaments again. And what about uh, you in high school? Did you graduate? What type of hobbies? What, what do you do besides being a gym rat? <laughs> uh, I also like playing basketball. I did graduate out of Community Academy, Philadelphia, the charter school. I graduated this year. I'll be attending Community College for the fall coming up. And I do other, a lot of other things I like doing. I like playing a lot of sports. Well, we call this the grassroots edition of Against the Ropes because you guys are babies, you lace them up, you walk through the gym, your Ammies, and then you turn pro. So before I let you get out of here, if you want to give any shout outs, if uh, you do any type of social media, you want people to follow you or just anything you want to add. Follow me on Instagram at Brand New Hose, H O Z E. That's Brand New Hose. And you can follow me on Twitter at Hose Box Hard. I just want to give a shout out to, especially to my family, everyone out there. I also have family in Puerto Rico. I want to give a shout out to them. They'll be watching. I just want to give a shout out to every, every, all the youngsters that be coming up in the boxing to so just keep following their dreams. They can make it as well. Well, we appreciate a couple moments on uh, this edition of Against the Ropes and uh, 